That's over two inches right there. Okay, so this is with five high voltage capacitors. Okay, so here's the circuit that I use to run the thing. So on a breadboard right now, I just have the MOSFET driver and just like a couple of capacitors and diodes and all that basically takes the signal from the Arduino and it sends the signal to this MOSFET right here and I have it on a heat sink it's a really big heat sink but it's just kind of unnecessary because it doesn't get that hot I mean you just can't run it for a long time that's bad for the transistor period and um, so I got a separate little battery for my Arduino but it shares a ground with the main power which by the way is a 12 volt power supply and I started off using this little Radio Shack power supply right here 12 volts not really enough amps to get those six sparks so I am using this power supply that's a 12 volt power supply and it gets the job done and I also have a 5 amp fuse just to protect the circuit and the transistor because they are not cheap here's the flyback transformer it's super old I have what maybe like eight or something turns of uh, magnet wire around it that goes straight to the breadboard and I started off actually with this flyback transformer and I used the tutorial that well the the link for the tutorial is in the description um, along with the Arduino code and all of that stuff so this is not like my original schematic I did tweak the schematic but check out the link and thanks to the maker of the website but anyways I used this transformer and I followed his instructions and I bought copper tape from eBay and wound up the transformer and everything and basically plain old magnet wire worked way better for me even with the, this older crappier flyback transformer and I just use everything on a stand I have like super shielded wires but still don't touch them because at these high voltages regular insulators fail that's why I got this wand right here um, that's pretty much it I don't know just try to when you're when you're working on this when you actually got the flyback transformer running use one hand don't use two hands it will make your risk of a shock through your heart a lot smaller alright have fun and make sure you experiment with with the tone program for the Arduino try out different numbers usually I find the higher the number you use the higher the frequency the better your flyback transformer will run but there is a certain cutoff point where it does start getting worse so you gotta find that range for me it was between eight to ten thousand alright